want us all to turn the book of Isaiah chapter 40. Na wote basi twende katika kitabu cha Isaiah mlango wa 44. There is a common verse that people like reading and quoting. Kuna mstari wa kawaida ambao watu hupenda kusoma. But I want to bring to you in a new dimension. Lakini nataka basi nililete kwenu katika mtindo tofauti. Book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 to 31. Isaiah 40 29 hadi 31. The Bible says Biblia inasema he gives power to the faint. Anapeana nguvu kwa walio wadhaifu. And to them that have no might he increases strength. Na kwa wale hawana nguvu huimarisha nguvu. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Hata vijana watachoka na waishe and the young men shall utterly fall lakijana wataanguka na wazimia but they that wait upon the lord lakini kwa wale wanao mungojea bwana the lord shall renew their strength bwana atafanya upya nguvu zao they shall mount up with wings as eagles watapaa kwa mbawa kama tai they shall run and not be weary watakimbia na hawatachoka and they shall walk and not faint watatembea na hawataisha Father in the name of Jesus Baba kwa jina la Yesu I give you glory and honor because of this special day that you've given to me Ninakupa utukufu na heshima kwa siku ya kipekee ambayo umenipa and I thank you Lord because you've given me this word for us today Na nakushukuru Bwana kwa vile umenipatia hili neno kwetu kwa leo Christians who are in Catholic faith wa Kristo ambao wako katika imani ya Kikatoliki they have today as the, we remember the death and the res- resurrection of Jesus leo wanasherehe kukumbuka kifo cha yesu as everybody remembers the death and resurrection of Jesus wakati kila mmoja anaposherekea na kukumbuka kifo cha yesu our brothers and sisters in catholic church when they took katika dini ya uh, katoliki they have a special service today wao kuna ibada ya kipekee leo there are things they are doing in their church kuna vitu ambavyo wanafanya katika kanisa lao to remember the death and resurrection of Jesus kama makumbusho ya kifo na kufufuka kwa Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But today here in this place where we are. Lakini leo mahali hapa ambapo tuko, the Bible tells me. Biblia inaniambia, the word of God is yes and amen. Neno la Bwana ni ndio na amina. It is profitable to us. Linanuisha kwetu. Hallelujah. Amen. It is good to know that Jesus Christ died and resurrected for the sake of your salvation. Ni vizuri kujua kwamba Kristo Yesu alikufa na akafufuka kwa ajili ya wokovu wako. But it's also important to have the knowledge of the word of God. Lakini pia ni muhimu kukua na ufahamu wa neno la Mungu. For if you have the knowledge of the word of God, kwa kuwa wakati uko na ufahamu wa neno la Mungu, you will be able to stand and withstand storms. Utaweza kusimama na usimame. Now the Bible says in the book where we have just read. Biblia inasema katika kitabu mali tumesoma that even the youth shall run and faint. Inasema hata vijana watakimbia na wazimie. But those who wait upon the Lord. Lakini wale wanao mngojea Bwana. I want to talk about waiting upon the Lord. Nataka kuongea kuhusu kumngojea Bwana. Today as we are in this season. Leo tukiwa katika haya majira. There are people who have put trust in their money. Kuna watu wameeka matumaini yao katika pesa zao. There are people who have put trust in their jobs. Kuna watu wameeka matumaini katika kazi zao. There are people who have put trust in their idols. There are people who have put their trust in political powers. Hallelujah. There are people who have trusted particular politicians. They say if this one will not succeed then I may die. Some go to an extent of saying if so and so becomes the president then I better go to another country. Hallelujah church. There are people who have put trust in their talents. And they are, today they are called celebrities. Mas, 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 but today I want to tell the church all those things can pass away 
Those things will pass away. There is a time you will not have money. There is a time you will not have that friend you have. There is a time you will not have that father you have. Because you trust him so much that you reach a level of worshipping him. But I have come to discourage you so that I may encourage you. The things we trust in are passing things. They are things that are not permanent. They are not everlasting. But listen to what Isaiah is telling us this morning. But those who wait upon the Lord Hallelujah they shall renew their strength. I have told you church that this is my 27th year in salvation. I have never gone back. I was doing very well in the world. I was celebrated in the world. But when I turned to Jesus Christ I have never turned back back again. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody may ask me at your age what gives you the passion to continue. There must be something that pushes you on. If you want to continue there must be something that pushes you on. And that thing is not money. That thing is not a relationship between you and your wife and husband. It is when you know how to depend on God. The way is waiting upon God. When you know how to wait upon God, my brothers will ever be energetic. You will always continue with passion. My son told you yesterday when I hear my, my bishop preach I remember those old days that he is still the same same man. He still gives the message the year he used to give 20 years ago. What is the secret? Waiting upon the Lord. If we decide to wait upon God, then we shall not give up. There is nothing that shall happen in our life that will discourage us. It may be in family life. It may be struggles of life. It may be ministry and salvation. The secret is waiting waiting upon the Lord. Now what is waiting upon the Lord? What is to wait upon the Lord? You can write down. There are three points here I want to give to you. Number one. Waiting upon the Lord is developing the character of looking up to God. Ya kumtazamia buwana. Kanisa buwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. What is waiting upon the Lord? Kumungojea buwana kuna manisha nini? You must come to a level. Lazima ukwe kati ukuja kwa kiwango. Where you develop a character of trusting God. Mahali ambapo lazima ukwe na tabia ya kumungojea buwana. Because things happen in our lives. Kwa sababu vitu ufanyika kwa maisha yetu. We come to different situations. Tunakuja katika hali tofauti. But this situations, if we don't have anywhere to run to, we shall simply crumble down. Hallelujah. There are diseases that have cropped up today. Name them heart attack, pressure, pressures, whatever, kisukari. Those are things that will meet in your life. But they need to come when you are waiting upon the Lord. If you wait upon the Lord, brother, my sister, you will overcome. 
yangu tashinda. Develop a character of, of trusting upon the Lord. Fanya tabia ya kumngojea Bwana. Now listen to this example in the Bible. Sasa sikiliza mfano huu katika Biblia. In the book of Daniel chapter number 3. Katika Danieli mlango wa 3. There are three gentlemen that were uh, were convicted to be burned in the burning furnace. Kuna vijana watatu ambao walihukumiwa kuchomwa katika tanuru la moto. Their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Majina yao ni Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They had defied the order of the king. Walikuwa wamepuuza lengo na amri sheria ya mfalme. That they should worship a given idol but they rejected and defied lakini wakakataa na wakapuuza because they knew their god kwa sababu walimjua mungu wao those who know their god wale wanaomjua mungu wao the bible says biblia inasema they shall do exploits watafanya malimbuko brethren it's important to know your god wapendwa ni vizuri kumjua mungu wao don't just mingle anyhow li au sitagamane na watu ovyo let people know that you have a god watu wajue Let people know that you have where you run to. The Bible says these three young men when they were about to be thrown in the fire. Nebuchadnezzar called them. And he told them. Decide today. That you worship this idol. Or I throw you in the fire. In the book of Daniel chapter 3 verse 16 to 18. The Bible says. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the king. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego kajibu na kumwambia Oh Nebuchadnezzar. We are not careful to answer you in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire furnace. And he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. But if not, listen to this strong statement but if not be it known to you O king that we will not serve your gods nor worship the golden image which you have set up such a strong statement only comes from people who wait upon the Lord mapepo ya kinuka ndani ya nyumba yako na kama hauna nafasi ya kumkimbilia na kumtumainia Bwana utaanza kupiga nduru na kukimbia na kuhamahama nyumba mm. lakini kwa sababu wewe ni mtu ambao unamngojea Bwana yes, utakemea mapepo yes, mapepo hata kutorosha kutoka nyumba yako sure. hautawasha taa usiku kucha mm. ya kwamba uone mapepo yakija lakini kwa sababu wewe unamkuwa unamngoja Bwana mm. Mungu atakupa ujasiri na neno la Mungu natuambia kwamba tukakeme mapepo yes. na mapepo yakatoroke haleluya haleluya church listen to me nisikilize kanisa god has brought you here mungu amekuleta hapa not to come and listen to entertainment si kwamba ukuje ukasikilize kutumbuizwa god has brought you here bwana amekuleta hapa not just for fellowship sio tu kwa sababu ya ushirika but god has brought you here lakini bwana pia amekuleta hapa that you may become strong in the lord ni kwamba ufanyike imara katika mungu that you may be able to defend yourself against the principalities and powers ni kwamba ukapata kujitetea mwenyewe kinyume na na kanuni na nguvu you will only be able to defend yourself unaweza tu kujitetea if you start developing the character of looking upon god ikiwa utajifanyia tabia ya kumtazamia mungu and you become you get the character of shadrach meshach and abednego sasa hapo utakuwa na tabia ya shadrach meshach na abednego hawakuogopa mfalme mm. kwa sababu alijua kwamba Mungu aliye ndani yao ni mkuu yes, kuliko mfalme Nebuchadnezzar yes, mpendwa mtu ambaye anamngojea Bwana mm. anaumba imani thabiti yes, anaumba imani isiyotingizika yes, anaumba imani ambayo pepo likimwangalia linatetemeka yes, haleluya because god can never be compared to anything else kwa sababu Mungu hawezi linganishwa na and we are worshiping god through the name of jesus christ and the bible tells us that 
this name of Jesus Christ is the name that is above every other name. And when the righteous call upon this name, the Bible says they receive their salvation. So God has called you that he may develop your character of looking upon God. Number two, what is to wait upon the Lord? If you see somebody going through storms and is overcoming, know that he has developed that character. Hallelujah. But Kila street na kila mchengo mewekwa matangazo mm. muganga malum anaondoa pepo anaondoa umasikini anaondoa kesi anaongea za nguvu za kiume uh. all over all mm. over zimeja kote kote zimeja sawa watu wanaenda wana kanisani lakini baada ya kanisani wanaenda wanachukua namba za hao watu za hao waganga if you do that be sure that you are walking in the league of demons basi unahakikishiwa kwamba unatembea katika anga ya mapepo and when they will come to attack you they will just by- bypass you na wanapokuja kukupiga wanakupitia tu hallelujah hallelujah it is like building your house on sandy soil ni sawa na kupanda nyumba yako katika mchangarawe therefore point number 2 sasa kipengele cha pili if you want to wait upon the lord ikiwa unataka kumngojea bwana the way of waiting upon the lord is trusting god's word ni kuamini neno la bwana waiting upon god kumngojea bwana is to trust upon the word of god ni kugojea neno la kuamini neno la bwana trust the word of god liamini neno la bwana what does the word of god say about your life che neno la bwana linasema nini kuyahusu maisha yako you cannot trust the word of god hawezi kuamini neno la bwana if you are not uh, partaking in the teachings of the word of god ikiwa hausiki katika mafundisho ya neno la bwana bwana mungu atusaidie sana hallelujah It's another place I went there was a very big conference kuna kongamano kubwa nilienda pahali and the church was full of people about 1000 and about 1500 people kongamano lilikuwa zaidi ya watu 1500 and i saw something that i want to help this church as we begin let us not adapt that na niliona kitu ambacho kupitia kwacho nataka nisaidie ile kanisa tunapoanza to see ishikamane na kitu kama hicho let that spirit not flow in us hiyo roho isituingie there are people who help us praise god here kuna watu ambao wanatusaidia kusifu mungu hapa mbele they lead worship and praise wanaongoza sifa na ibada bwana yesu asifiwe amen this is a very special part of worship in the church ni kitengo cha kipekee sana cha ibada katika nyumba ya mungu for the bible says kwa sababu biblia inasema god will in the praises of his people kwamba bwana hudumu katika sifa za wanawe so when the praise team is so much uh, uh, entrusted in the word of god wakati kikundi cha sifa na ibada kimaaminiwa sana kwa neno la mungu then the presence of the lord shall come the, the church na kisha basi uwepo wa mungu utakuja kanisani hallelujah hallelujah it is very important to have the praise and worship team. ni muhimu sana kukua na kikundi cha sifa na ibada The Bible says that when Solomon had built the temple and finished the temple. Wakati Solomon alikuwa ashajenga hekalu na kulimaliza. They came to celebrate in the temple. Walikuja kusherehekea kanisani. And there was great praise and worship. Na kukawa na sifa na ibada kubwa. Until God himself came down. Hadi Mungu mwenyewe akatua chini. And the priests were not able to minister. Na makuhani sasa awangeweza kuhudumu. Because God himself was already there. Kwa sababu Mungu mwenyewe ametua hapo. And the work of the priest was to mediate between the congregation and God. Sasa kazi ya kuhani ilikuwa kutangamanisha Mungu na watu but since god himself was there lakini kwa vile Mungu mwenyewe alikuwa hapo what was the work of the priest kazi ya kuhani ilikuwa ipi if i'm saying praise and worship is a very important component of the church sasa nasema kwamba kikundi cha sifa na ibada ni sehemu ya kipekee na ambayo ni muhimu sana kanisani lakini kwa ile mkutano nilikuwa mm. baada hao wapendwa kuimba mm. wanachukua simu wanaenda je wakati mubira na simama kuhubiri mm. wanatoka nje 
wanaenda tu CR wanaanza kupika maselfi huko nje wanaanza kutembea wakinunua soda kikunyo huko nje na ibada inaendelea neno la Mungu linaendelea sure. in that way you will never overcome kwa njia hiyo hautapata kupenya na kushinda i have come to tell the church nataka kuambia kanisa that to wait upon god kwamba kumngojea bwana is also trusting in the word of god ni pia kuamini katika neno la mungu and you cannot trust the word of god hauwezi kutumaini ndani ya neno la mungu if you don't know the word of god ikiwa haulijui neno la mungu sit down and listen to the teachings of the word of god keti chini sikiliza mafundisho ya neno la mungu hallelujah hallelujah number 3 sehemu ya tatu waiting upon god kumngojea bwana is allowing god ni kumruhusu mungu to give you direction kukupa muongozo before you begin anything kabla uanze chochote it may be beginning a relationship inaweza kuwa katika mahusiano because we have talked about relationship kwa sababu sasa tumefundisha kuhusu mahusiano seek the will of god tafuta kujua mapenzi ya mungu know what god has uh, says about the relationship you want to begin jua kile ambacho mungu anasema kuhusiana ule uhusiano unataka kuanzisha you want to do any business unataka kufanya biashara yoyote seek the direction of god tafuta mwelekeo wa bwana surely you have You, are, you have gotten some money kwa kinka una pesa you want to begin a project unataka kwanza mradi you have a vision una maono there is some vision in you kuna maono fulani ndani mwako but before you start doing what you are doing lakini kabla ya kwanza kufanya kile unafanya go back and ask god rudi tena muulize mungu what is your will in this je mapenzi yako kuhusiana na hili ni nini what is your direction in this je mwongozo wako kwangu kuhusiana na hili ni nini how will you stand with me if i begin this je utasimama aje na mimi ninapoanza waiting upon the lord kumgojea bwana is allowing god to give you direction ni kumruhusu mungu kukupa muongozo you may have begun unaenda unaweza kuwa umeanza and you retreat na ukachoka ukarudi nyuma listen to the second voice asikiliza sauti ya pili elijah had run away elia alikuwa amekimbia from king jezebel kutoka kwa jezebel mfalme king jezebel malikia. wanted to uh, no, not king jezebel but uh, queen, queen jezebel eh, malikia mfalme wanted to kill uh, prophet elijah alikuwa anataka kumuua uh, nabii elia Eli, elijah ran away for his life elia akatorokea maisha yake but while he was away lakini alipokuwa mbali he prayed to the lord akamuomba bwana and he waited for the lord to speak in his Na, life akamngojea bwana kunena katika maisha yake but in the first time when he expected that the lord was speaking to him lakini mara ya kwanza alipokusudia kwamba bwana anaongea na yeye the bible says there was a lot of thunder biblia inasema kwamba kukawa na radi and lightning na ngurumo za radi hallelujah hallelujah and even the rocks got pierced ya kwamba hata mawe miamba ikavunjika but the lord was not there lakini mungu hakukuwa hallelujah hallelujah the lord was not there bwana hakukuwa ndani for the second time mara ya pili he listened to the voice of god akaisikia sauti ya mungu and there was fire and wind na kukatokea upepo mkubwa na moto god was not there lakini tena mungu hakukuwa for the third time mara ya tatu he still saw the presence of the lord pia katafuta uwepo wa mungu and god came in a still small Voice. na Mungu akakuja katika sauti ya utulivu na ndogo nyororo nyororo na Mungu akampa mwelekeo haleluya akaambia sasa enda mm. bwana Yesu asifiwe praise the lord leja alipotoka pale alipata ushindi mkubwa sana haleluya bwana Yesu asifiwe amina so you must listen to the voice of god ndio basi ni lazima usikize sauti ya Mungu usipate tu jambo alafu unaruka nalo na unakuwa kwanza kufika kule na ujasikia Mungu naye anasema nini sure patia Mungu nafasi asungumuze yes sir seek the voice of god tafuta kujua sauti ya Mungu listen to the will of god sikiliza mapenzi ya Mungu understand what god wants to do in your life elewa kile Mungu anataka kufanya kwa maisha yako don't just jump usirukie tu and rush into issues usiende kwa haraka bwana Yesu asifiwe hallelujah all these three things i'm talking about even vitu vyote vitatu ambavyo naongea kuvihusu it is not easy the pesi it's not easy people have tried to wait upon the lord watu wamejaribu kumngojea mungu but they give up along the way lakini wanachokea njiani sometimes they say god is taking too long wakati mwingine wanaona mungu anachelewa they get discouraged along the way wanavunjika moyo njiani 
Although it's a difficult way, but it is the only solution to everlasting salvation in your life. Kwa okovu wa milele kwa maisha yako. Brethren, it's not easy to wait upon the Lord. It's not just a matter of saying today, today I just want to wait upon the Lord, then you cover yourself in your closet and start waiting upon the Lord. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. It's a process. You must learn to wait upon the Lord. Lazima ujifunze kumngojea Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Character is built. Tabia hujengeka. Character is not bought. Tabia hainunuliwi. The character of God in order for the character of God to be seen in your life. Ukitaka tabia ya Mungu ionekane katika maisha yako. It calls for patience. Inahitaji uvumilivu. It calls for your availability. Inahitaji ku you must be there waiting upon the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will not be automatic. Whatever you ask God will not be automatically uh, the answer. God will not answer automatically. But it takes time. And then uh, eventually God comes to manifest. Hmm. I can write this how to wait upon God. Number 1, ya kwanza, you must be ready to leave the crowd. Lazima ukue tayari kuachana na umati. To set yourself apart. Kujitenga mwenyewe kando. To come out of uh, of the crowd. Kujitoa katika kikundi au umati. And make fellowship between you and God. Na ufanye ushirika Baina yako na mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make sure that you are only with God. Hakikisha ni mungu tulie na ee. It is God you are talking to. Ni mungu unaye husiana, unatungelesha. Here we are so many people. Sasa hapa tuko watu wengi. But if you want to get a, the character of God. Lakini ukitaka kujua taswira ya mungu. Ile character ya shushu 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 kutoke ndani. Ile hulka ya shushu shushu mshene ikutoke. Mungu. Ana omba ya kwamba utoke kwa umati. Mm. Utenge wakati ambapo utatafuta uso wa Bwana. Yes sir. Ujifiche na ulize Mungu maksudi ya Mungu ndani ya maisha yako. Yes sir. The crowds are dangerous. Umati ni hatari. Crowds destroy. Vikundi huaribu. Crowds distract the attention of God in your life. Vikundi husumbua mtazamo wa Mungu katika maisha yako. The crowds will prevent you from reaching God. Vitakuzuia kumfikia Mungu. Because crowds have issues. Kwa sababu vikundi vina mambo. You must create a character of being alone. Lazima ujijengee hulka ya kukua peke yako. I'm not saying you come out of fellowship. Haimaanishi sisemi kwamba utoke kanisani. But you set apart some time lakini ujijengewa ujitengewa kati where you can find yourself being you alone with god ambaye utakuwa tu ni wewe na mungu peke yenu wawili check your bible unachukua biblia yako check your notebook uchukue kitabu chako cha kwanza check your pen na uchukue kalamu yako check uh, your water uchukue maji yako pia and say today i'm not going to job na useme leo sitaenda kwa kazi zangu labda umeuliza ruhusa ama ni siku ya off labda uko katika off yes and you say today i want to be with my lord leo nataka tu kukua na mungu wangu na unauliza mchungaji waambie mchungaji nikiwa mm. nyumbani watoto watanisumbua ama majirani ama wageni watakuja mm. nipe ufungu niende kanisani hallelujah i just want to be there and see the presence of the lord nataka tu nikue kanisani hapo nione uwepo wa mungu usijali nani atakuwa sababu udhaifu uingia ndani ya mioyo za watu wanasema ya kwamba sasa mimi peke yangu nitaomba kweli. Oh my God. It is you to decide. Ni wewe wa kuamua. If you want to come out of uh, uh, if you don't want to tire. Ikiwa utaki kuchoka. If you don't want to faint. Ikiwa utaki ku, kuisha you kuchoka. You must decide. Lazima ufanye uamuzi. And come before the Lord. Na ukuje mbele za Bwana. Kuja ujificha hapa siku nzima. Kuja tu kae hapa siku yote. Mm. Na usikunywe usikule kitu. Mm. Unaweza kunywa tu maji. Mm. Soma Bible. Soma Bible, soma Bible, soma. Yes sir. You are creating a character of depending on God. Unajijengea tabia kumtegemea Mungu. Kwa 
sababu katika kitabu hiki there are 365 promises of god kuna ahadi 365 za mungu which god promises to us ambazo bwana ametuahidia sisi which means every day of your life throughout the year kumaanisha kila siku ya maisha yako katika mwaka wote God has a promise for you. Bwana ana ahadi kwako. And unless you get the character of reading the word of God. Na usipojijengea tabia ya kusoma neno la Mungu. You will never understand what God has for you. Hautajua ni nini Mungu amekuwekea katika kitabu hiki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer maombi is talking to God. Ni kuongea na Mungu. And it puts the intimacy between you and God so close mahusiano ya karibu sana baina yako na Mungu the character of god shall be built hulka ya Mungu itajengea when you pray to him itajengeka ndani mwako wakati utakapomuomba and he answers you through the word of god na anakujibu tu pia kupitia katika neno lake hallelujah hallelujah i have three examples on how you can come out of the crowd number 1 is about jesus christ nina mifano mitatu ambayo una jeans unavyoweza kutoka katika watu ya kwanza ni kupitia kwa kristo yesu jesus christ gives us an example kristo yesu anatupatia mfano at several times wakati mara mingi jesus worked with the crowds yesu alifanya kazi pia na umati but after the crowds lakini baada ya kuachana na umati he will remain with a small number of people angebaki na watu wachache sana about 12 of them watu kama 10 na wawili hivi but when time came for talking to god lakini wakati wa kubaki kuongea na mungu lipofika he will even set aside the 12 ange tengana na hata hao 10 na wawili and sometimes you will take the three na la watu wakati mwingine achukue watatu and sometimes you will go alone wakati mwingine anaenda peke yake and the bible says na biblia inasema because jesus wanted to create the character of god kwa sababu yesu alitaka kujenga hulka mungu ndani mwake when he went to pray alipoenda kuomba there is a time he prayed until the 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 uh, instead of tears coming out of his eyes kuna wakati aliomba na badala ya machusi kutoka katika macho yake blood came out of his eyes damu ndio ilitoka katika macho yake we have not prayed enough church hatujaomba ipasavyo we have not prayed enough hatujaomba vya kutosha another example is elijah on mount camel mfano wa pili ni elia katika mlima wa camel when he came back lakini aliporudi he came with results akakuja na matokeo when elijah disappeared wakati alipoondoka elia he went to seek the presence of the, ali, the will of god alienda kutafuta mapenzi ya mungu when he came back after three and a half years aliporudi baada ya miaka mitatu na nusu the bible says rain came back biblia inasema naye mvua ikareje a miracle was seen na miujiza ikaonekana we need to develop the character of depending upon god tunahitaji kukua na tabia ya kumtegemea bwana elijah had a big name elia alikuwa na jina kubwa he was a great prophet in israel alikuwa nabii mkubwa katika israeli but that one did ne- never help him lakini hilo halikumsaidia he despised that alilipuuza hilo and he went looking for god in the mountain akaenda kumtafuta mungu kwa milima and when he came back na aliporudi rains came back to israel mvua ikarejea Israel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another example is Moses. Mfano wa pili ni Musa. Moses was also a man who sought about uh, after the uh, after the will of God. Musa pia ni mtu aliyetafuta mapenzi ya Mungu. It is recorded that for 40 days he went and hid on Mount Horeb. Imenakiliwa kwamba kwa siku 40 alienda kajificha katika mlima Horebu. And he had fellowship with God. Na akafanya ushirika na Mungu. And when he came back na aliporudi he came back with authority and power alirudi na mamlaka na nguvu and the presence of the lord fell down to the children of israel na wepo wa mungu katua chini kwa wana wa israel the bible says that the presence of god was so overwhelming na biblia inasema kwamba wepo wa mungu ulikuwa mwingi sana that the israelites could not look at the face of the lord kwamba wa israeli pia hawangeweza kumta uh, kuona uso wa bwana but they put some veil in their eyes lakini wakaeka vitambaa katika uso wao because the glory of the lord was so enormous kwa sababu utukufu wa mungu ulikuwa mwingi sana when you make 
personal relationship with God. Great things happen in your life. Church, I have come to encourage you. Start developing the character of depending upon God. There must be a personal relationship between you and God. When you have that personal relationship between you and God, then you will start understanding things of God. You will understand who God is. You will understand that God is your salvation. You will start understanding that God is your rock. Hallelujah. You will understand that God is your refugee. You will understand that God is your defense. Mungu ni ulinzi wako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. And if God is your refugee. Ikiwa Mungu ni ulinzi wako. If God is your salvation. Ikiwa Mungu ni wokovu wako. If God is is your defense. Ikiwa Mungu ni ulinzi wako. Then you will never get tired. Sasa na hautapata kuchoka. Because your hope is in God. Kwa sababu tumaini lako liko ndani mwa Mungu. Weka tumaini lako kwake Bwana. Hautazimia, hautachoka. Hallelujah. Lakini watu walio na matumaini katika pesa uchoka. Watu uchoka. Wakiingia kwa hii kanisa wapate kwamba hakuna pesa ya kupeana wanachoka. Sure, sure. Pastor kuwa tayari ya kwamba utapata wapendwa ambao wanakuja after every service. Mm. Pastor sina pea ya kwenda Kariobangi. Imefanyika. Ni ni pepe ya kurudi. Mm. Usipowapatia watachoka. Imefanyika hivyo bishop. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mm. I want to encourage you church. Wait upon God. Wait upon God. Don't wait upon the pastor. Kwa sababu mchungaji ni kama mimi tu kama wewe tu. Hallelujah. Sure. Leo hatukunywa chai mzuri kwake. Sijui kwa nini. Na nilikoja alete taxi au kuleta kanisa na alisema pastor tushikie tu hapa. Twende tu hivi. Nikashtuka niko hapa kanisani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Sasa wewe unangoja kueleza ibada, ipatie fedha kwenda Kawangware. Mm. Mungu akusaidie. Amen. That will make you get tired. Hiyo itakusababisha kuchoka. Itafanya usisonge mbali. Uh-huh. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. You are his strength. Wewe ndio nguvu yake. Nyinyi ndio nguvu za mchungaji. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Akija hapa kama haja kunywa chai ya, ya sukari, mtasikia very easy kuanza kununika mambo ya nyumbani badala ya kuhubiri neno lake bwana. Mm. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sure. Alafu naanza sema pastor anatukas, anatukas. Mpatie kitu akule asikukas. <laughs> bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na analituma mikate kwake asubuhi leo. Sure. Sasa kama ukutuma mikate unataka fanya hata kukas. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's by the way. Uh, I want to finish. Nataka kumaliza sasa. To improve your relationship with God. There are two things that you, you should do. I know where your relationship is with God today. You also know how you, you are related to your God today. You know where you were last year. And you know where you are today. You need to improve your relationship with God. God. Simple things. Number one. Study the Bible. Study the word of God. Number two. Fellowship with others. Fanya ushirika na watu Usiwe manusolo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amina. Kuja twende pamoja na wewe. Hallelujah. Katika mabonde tulie na wewe, katika mm. mazuri tuwe na wewe, mm. katika machozi machozi yako pia itoke. Yes, Hapo Mungu atakuwa anatengeneza uhusiano wako na Mungu na uhusiano wako utakuwa thabiti. Yes sir. Mambo ya kija hata madhuruba ya, ya kija hautachoka. Mm. Hautazimia. Yes sir. Na utaishi kutukuza jina la Jehova. Yes sir. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Number three. Cha tatu. Join prayer meetings. Unganika katika mikutano za maombi. Don't just like coming for fellowship on Sunday. Usingojenga tu Jumapili peke yake. Create a time to to join prayer meetings. Tengeneza wakati uko unakuja mikutano za maombi. Be available in prayers. Patikana katika uombezi. Prayers will humble you. Na uombezi ndio 
prayers will cut up uh, uh, will cut off bad character from you uombezi utakata tabia mbaya kutoka kwako prayer will make you a humble man maombi yatakusababisha kuwa mtu mnyenyekevu prayer will open your spiritual ears uombezi utafungua masikio yako ya kiroho and you start receiving the things of god na sasa unaanza kupokea vitu vya mungu if you are not prayerful ikiwa wewe si muombezi it is going to be very difficult inaenda kukuwa ngumu kwako even to understand the word of god hata kulielewa neno la mungu so it is important as, as you want to renew your relationship with god ipo basi unavyotaka kufanya upya mahusiano yako na mungu ni muhimu please study the word of god tafadhali chifunze neno la mungu fellowship with other christians usiana na wakristo wengine be a prayerful christian fanyika mkristo muombezi and lastly number 4 na cha mwisho cha 4 have the desire to serve kukua na tamanio la kutumika not the desire to lead sio la kuongoza but the desire to serve lakini tamanio la kutumika if you have the desire to serve ikiwa una tamanio la kutumika Brethren this is what you will do. Wapendwa sasa hivi ndio itafanyika. And we have seen it done in our lives. Na tumeona ikifanyika kwa maisha yetu. It can also happen in your life. Pia inaweza fanyika kwa maisha yako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. I know most of you come from very far. Najua wengi wenu wanatoka kwingi mbali. It's a big challenge. Ni eh, changamoto. But this is what I would ask, ask you to do. Lakini nataka kukwambia hivi kufanya hivi. For now this is our place of meeting. Kwa hapa ndio mahali petu hapa ndio mahali petu pa ibada pa kukupana. But God is going to expand us. <coughs> Lakini Bwana anaenda kutupanua. This is what I would ask the church to do. Sasa nataka kuambia kanisa kuomba kanisa lifanye hivi. Let us get people who are committed. Wacha na tupate watu ambao wamejitolea. Somebody who can say I'll be praying every morning in the church. Mtu asema ya kwamba mimi nitakuwa naomba kila asubuhi kanisani. Pastor nipe kifunguo kwa sababu natoka karibu na kanisa mimi ndio nitakuwa nafanya uongezi every day morning glory. Yes sir. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Somebody else will say pastor Uh, I have seen it a problem allow me to be sweeping the church alone. Mwingine naye anasema mchungaji niruhusu nimeona ni shida niruhusu mimi ndo nitakuwa nafagia kanisa peke yangu. Haleluya. Haleluya. Somebody will say pastor I want to take responsibility. Mwingine naye anasema mchungaji nataka kuwajibika. I want to make sure that every Sunday nataka kuhakikisha kwamba kila Jumapili I am the one who will be responsible for your water. Mimi ndo nitakuwa nachukumikia maji yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody will stand up and say Mtu atasimama na kusema Pastor I've, I've seen the struggle on the on the pulpit. Mchungaji nimeona kusumbuka kuliko katika madhabahu. Many people want to sing. Watu wengi wanataka kuimba. We only have one microphone. Na una makipa sauti kimoja tu. Next Sunday Jumapili ijayo I want to trust in the Lord. Nataka kuamini Mungu. I'll bring you a new microphone. Nitakuletea kipasa kisauti kipya. That's how the church grows. Hivyo ndivyo kanisa linavyoimarika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There must be somebody again. Lazima pia kukuwe na mtu who is seeing how the pastor is struggling. Ambaye anaona jinsi mchungaji anavyosumbuka. The pastor cannot do everything in the church. Mchungaji hawezi kufanya kila kitu kanisani. If he does everything in the church. Akifanya kila kitu kanisani. He gets tired. Yeye anachoka. He gets weary anaisha but he needs to be renewed na anahitaji kuuishwa you have a friend outside there una marafiki huko nje who plays a keyboard ambaye anacheza kinanda and you can talk to him na unaweza kumuongelesha tell him come to our church mwambie kuja ikaluni mwetu it's a young church ni kanisa changa but we don't have a keyboard player lakini hatuna mchezaji wa vyombo come just stand with us for three months tafadhali kuja usimame na sisi miezi mitatu after three months god will have provided lakini baada ya miezi mitatu mungu atakuwa Mepeana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go out and preach to people. Enda nje waubirie watu. Preach to people who have the knowledge of engineering. Waubirie watu walio na ufahamu wa hivi vitu. Let them come and handle this these things. Wacha na wale wakuje watumike mahali hapa. Brethren, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Lazima tupate kila mtu anasimama katika pengo fulani. Yes sir. Ili kanisa kazi ya Bwana iende mbele. Yes sir. Kitabu cha Matendo ya Mitume mlango wa sita mm. inasema kwamba kulikuwa na shida katika kanisa la kwanza. Mm. Ikawa ya kwamba chakula kilikuwa kina peano kwa wajane na waliokuwa na mahitaji. Sure. Ikawa ya kwamba mitume ndio walikuwa wanaenda kugawa chakula wakimaliza ndio wakuja wahubiri. Mm. Wakaenda kwa maombi. True. Walipoomba roho bwana akawaambia kwamba si vizuri. Sure. It is not good. It is not good. For the pastor to serve on tables. Mchungaji si vizuri kutumika katika meza. It is not good for him to leave the scriptures. Sio vizuri yeye kuacha maandiko. So what they came up is that 
they, they told the congregation before they told the congregation they went and prayed and the spirit of God revealed to them a point seven men who are full of the Holy Spirit not who are thirst for leadership but those who are full of the Holy Spirit who, who, who have good testimony you may want to, to be a leader and yet your testimony is not good so the Holy Spirit spoke to the, uh, to the elders of the church look Look for people who have good character. People who are, who are spoken of well. Choose them to be deacons. So that they may serve on the table. And you concentrate on the word of God. The church will grow. Hallelujah. Pray that we get people to stand with us. Mambo ya mitambo mchungaji atoki. Mambo ya kukimbia kutafuta soda ya mgeni mchungaji atoki. Ili tuwe na watu ambao nasimama katika hizo positions. Hallelujah. Na wanapo simama kwa hiyo position hui atapata na pasi ya kuomba na kusoma neno la mungu. Yes sir. Anapokuja hapa hau ubiri mambo yake ya ujuzi. Yes sir. Ana ubiri ya ufunuo ambao natoka kwa neno la kema. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Tumai tumefika pale mungu wa bariki. Amen. Let's stand up before the Lord. Tustimame mbele tabwana.